When was the last time the Labour Party fielded a Polish born candidate in parliamentary elections? <coughs> Yes, uh, can I ask my two questions? It doesn't work. Yes, just, just talk loud. No, no, no. no. Right, one question and... One question. Yeah. Okay. Your Majesty Revenue and Custom, uh, for longer than half a year, is contacting parents asking to prove that their children live in the UK. After confirmation and assurance that child tax and child benefit will be paid, which means that will be stopped if a child lives abroad. This is against current UK law. We made studies and regulations, law regulations, and international agreements also. And we can still read that children of Europeans live, living abroad are entitled, or uh, children uh, of Europeans who live abroad are entitled to get benefits. This is on governmental website. Thank, thank so we, 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 we discussed this. Clear questions, we, we what's happening, because nobody knows, and we are not getting the answer from HRMC. Uh, they said, okay, very, sir, very, 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 very precise. This is why I'm you're quite right. questions. You're, you're, you're quite right, that is unlawful. I'm afraid it's just another illustration of where the government this present government is not respecting the rule of law uh, across a number of uh, areas. It's, it's, it's well, Daniel, what I would Yes, of course we are. We are respecting the rule of law. Yes. Okay, Andrew, your final thought. Please, sir, please. So, in my view, the key issue with um, polls is, um, uh, is that they become icons of the loss of control of immigration. When I was a little boy in the 1970s, immigration was an issue. It went away with the 1981 Act, because through the 80s and 90s, people thought there was a total control. It wasn't that there was no immigration, it was that there was control. In the 1990s, when there were the asylum seekers, the issue with the asylum seekers wasn't how many of them, it was that there were people coming that were coming illegally, the bogus asylum seeker debate, because there was a sense that control had been lost. Again, through into the 2000s, after the accession of certain Eastern European states, there was the sense that control had been lost. What people in Britain want, I think, in respect of immigration, is not small or large amounts of it. They want a sense that there is control over it. That was the thing which the Conservatives attempted to convey with their promise of a cap. They failed. I think that this has reinforced the sense of a loss of control. And I actually think that um, the polls are one of the iconic examples of this, uh, this sense of lost control. It's nothing personal, it's just a, a, a thing about the, this particular feature. So I would expect that as soon as, much as in the 1980s, as soon as the, uh, the British government has reasserted control in a credible way, then you should expect that there will be, uh, that people will be much more sympathetic towards polls once again. Okay, on that thought, thank you very much to our esteemed panel, and I think, oh, come on, you, um, you no, all no, had a good just, just, just one word from my gather, all right? All right, okay. Thank you. Yes, on behalf of um, our community, uh, we want to say that we do hope that the main political parties start to talk about the contribution that, po that polls make to the, um, the economy, not just here, during this, con during this conversation, during this panel, but also in mainstream media, because we feel that uh, that is not coming across from the main political parties, and the evidence are overwhelming. We are contributing to, the, um, to, this, uh, to this economy, and we would like this uh, message to, to get out. Um, Thank you. You can clap. You can clap. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming. We really do appreciate this. Uh, in terms of the, the panelists, I know that the media are dying to ask you questions. If you would um, stay behind and answer and give an interview, that would be much appreciated. 